Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with confidence intervals for proportions. Let's go in with an example. In a random sample of machine parts, 18 out of 225 were damaged in a shipment. First, we want to establish a 99% confidence interval estimate for the proportion of damaged machine parts in a general shipment. Also, we want to answer the question, what is the margin of error for this interval? Now, we're going to do this using technology. So, if you're using a TI calculator, you're going to first navigate into your stat menu. There's a button labeled stat right underneath delete. Then, across the top, you'll see three options. We need to go over into the tests menu, and then scroll down a bit until you see one proportion Z interval. So since we are working with proportions, a single proportion here and a Z interval, that's what we're going to want. When you bring that up, it's going to ask you for three items. It's going to ask you for X or the number of successes. It's going to ask you for N or the number in your sample. And then it's going to ask you for your confidence level. In this particular instance, our X or our number of damaged goods would be 18. Our number in our sample, or N, is going to be 225. And our confidence level, as a decimal, 99% would be 0.99. So using this one proportion Z interval function, we get an interval of 0 0.03341 to 0.1265. Five, nine. So there's our confidence intervals. We've established that. But the question that we're really being asked is, what is the margin of error for this interval? Now, of course, we do have a formula for the margin of error. And that is, we can take our z critical value and multiply that by the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat divided by n. But I want to look today at what if I already have the interval? Can I use that to calculate the margin of error? So remember how we create confidence intervals. So our interval from A to B is centered at our point estimate, in this case point P hat, and it is calculated by adding the margin of error and subtracting the margin of error. So that means that the total width of the interval is the margin of error plus the margin of error, or two times the margin of error. So that means we could take the width of our interval, or the top piece of our interval, minus the bottom piece, and that would give us two times our margin of error, so we could just divide that in half. So taking 0.12659 and subtracting 0 0.03341 and dividing that in half, we get that our margin of error is 0 0.04659. So if you've already got your interval, or if you've used a calculator to get your interval and you're asked for your margin of error, you don't have to start back with a formula unless you like. What you can do is take the width of your interval by taking the top value minus the bottom and dividing it in half. That will calculate your margin of error, in this case, 0 0.04659. All right, guys, that does it for us in this video on confidence intervals for proportions. We'll catch you in a future video.